So since it is fall and I am just really in the fall vibe and mood, I have been really thinking a lot about old school YouTube morning routines. So I thought I would show you my morning routine on a lovely cozy fall day. Let's jump in. So I actually wake up pretty early. I wake up around 6 a.m. when Drew leaves for work and lay in bed, kind of browse on my phone for a while, answer emails, etc. And then I get up, let in some light for the plants, of course, my other children. And I love Arizona mornings in the fall and winter time. They're just so crisp and clean. And I'm just showing you that um, I don't actually make my bed. So this is what my bed looks like. And then I make my way out to feed Moo, the messiest eater in the absolute entire world. So I feed him first. Then I head downstairs to feed Layla who has already been outside before Drew has gone to work. And she's so cute in the morning. Good morning, sleepyhead. Good morning. Hey, you want some breakfast? Come on. Then I feed her her very expensive vet prescribed food that is supposed to be for weight loss. Uh, whether or not it does anything, that's another story, but it makes her very happy. She loves it very much. And if any of you pet parents out there are interested, she also does take a Cosequin supplement for her arthritis and she thinks they're treats and she loves them very much. <laughs> Eat your breakfast. I usually do a little bit of like a quick cleanup in the morning just right when I get downstairs because I just try to have like a clean kitchen throughout the day. It makes me much happier and so I just usually take whatever is left over from the night before and put it away and empty the dishwasher if necessary. Everyone is different and has different preferences but for me like a clean house is a clean mind so that's just how I function and then I usually try to these days set the vibe in the morning. We have some really cute like fall decorations going on in our living room. I absolutely love it. We have some like neon lights, some twinkly lights. So I usually put on some sort of like fall or Halloween movie. I think the day you're watching this video, it is Halloween. So started off with Halloween Town and this is just such a classic. I love it. It's so nostalgic for me. And this living room setup with like these curtain lights is just so vibey. And I turn it on in the morning and at night. And also, if you don't follow my vlog channel, we did a little bit of a DIY like Hogwarts dining dining hall thing and I turn these on 24 seven. I'm so obsessed with how they turned out. I think I'm gonna keep them through the holidays as well. And even though JK Rowling is problematic and we do not stand, um, I just love these lights and love the way they turned out. So then I take Layla outside when she's done eating and just kind of like sit outside and enjoy the crisp morning air that doesn't come very often. Then I decided to put on a classic 90s film, which is Double Double Toil and Trouble, a Mary Kate and Ashley movie. If you know, you know, this movie was everything to me in my childhood. Then usually I will make my coffee. We have this little Nespresso machine that I really love. And actually I drink decaf coffee. I think I've talked about that before, but it has made the biggest difference for my anxiety to cut out caffeine almost entirely. So I decided to make myself a little decaf oat milk latte. <laughs> This morning light is one of my favorite things. It's just so pretty and it just makes me feel so warm and cozy inside. So I poured my latte and decided to enjoy a little bit of outside time. This steam coming off this mug, are you kidding me? I had to make my way over to the couch and watch a little bit of the movie while I enjoyed my coffee because I just wanted to relive the nostalgia and nothing does that for me like a Mary-Kate and Ashley movie. I just love it. So I am all about setting the vibe. If you couldn't Tell. I love a cozy vibe. I love this time of year. It just makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. So I took this opportunity to light pretty much every single candle that exists in my house and I have absolutely zero regrets. So at about like, I don't know, 7.15 or something like that, after I've had a little bit of time for myself and I finally feel a little more awake, I decided to take advantage of this beautiful day and go for a walk with Layla. We do try to go almost every day, but like I said, she is getting older. She does have some leg issues. So I do try to take her on like a short walk every single day because she loves the fresh air so much. So I'm just getting changed into some comfier, cozier clothes because surprisingly it was kind of chilly outside. This is my favorite Taylor Swift sweatshirt. It's the Aurora's and Sad Pros. So this is the uh, the morning look. It's called fashion. Hey Layla, you wanna go for a walk? 
Should we go for a walk? Let's go. Come on, old lady. <laughs> Let's go. So then we get ready for our little walk. She gets so happy and so excited. I usually just throw on some slides, nothing crazy. And we make our way down to like a little park nearby. And honestly, I love the way this front porch and just the front of our house in general has been decorated for Halloween. And by the time you see this video, it'll be Halloween. So by tomorrow it'll be gone. So I feel comfortable showing it. And yeah, we just make our way to this little, it's, it's kind of a park, I guess you could say, like this little grassy area that is honestly Layla's dream come come true. All she cares about is sniffing grass. After that, when I get back home, I typically shower, which I'm obviously not gonna show. And I just love this little jungle vibe bathroom that we have going on. It's just very, very me, very aesthetic. And this morning light, again, I will just never get over it. It's so, so beautiful. I love light leaks. I love light peeking through the blinds. And then it's just time to get ready. But don't get me wrong, some days I absolutely do not get ready at all. And I stay in my pajamas quite literally all day long. <laughs> Then by now it's usually about 8 a.m. and that's typically when I get hungry. So I head downstairs and make some breakfast. And we actually went to an apple orchard recently in a vlog of mine. So if you aren't subscribed to my vlog channel, it's linked down below. So I decided to use up some of the apples and make like a on the spot, off the cuff, apple cinnamon oatmeal situation. And I love a cooking montage. So hopefully you will enjoy. <laughs> If you saw my most recent home decor thrift haul, then you will remember that I thrifted these amazing little bowls. They're shaped like hearts and they're just so cute. So I decided to use it for the first time. So I just put my oatmeal in there and then put my topping on top and it was actually really delicious. I'm not typically an apple cinnamon kind of person, but I decided to go for it when, you know, we've got the fall vibes going. And then of course, Moo likes to go outside. So I typically have my breakfast outside weather allowing. It was a little warm on this day by this point, but it was really, really relaxing to just take some time and be present, be off my phone, be outside, even though I was filming myself for YouTube. It's fine, we can ignore that. I was um, pretty unplugged for the most part. Then I usually about once a week have a plant care day. Sometimes Drew does it, sometimes I do it, but we have so many amazing plants in our house. I think we have like 60 something, honestly. And a lot of times they need water about once a week or just depending. So I'm watering my rat tail cactus, my pothos. I just love putting care into my plants as if they're like my little children. And it's different for every plant and every person, obviously some people water water feed from like the bottom. I typically just stick my finger inside the soil about an inch or two down and obviously remove any dead leaves. And if it's dry down there, then I know that it is probably time to give it some water. This is, I believe called a white butterfly plant. And so I just water it until the water is dripping out of the bottom, leave them in a little bit of a sun bath to soak and take care of all of the hanging plants throughout the house. And then on this day in particular, the little propagation bulb station that we have, the water was getting 
pretty gross in some of them. So about once a month, I would say, I switch these out and just give them fresh, clean water, give them a little bit of a rinse on the inside, and those plants are being prepared to be planted either for gifts for friends, for family, throughout our house if we can find the space for it. And I just love this little plant corner. I think it's so cute. I have recently gotten back in therapy as well, and I thought it would be important to show in this video because I think it's such a crucial part of my self-care. So I had a therapy session with my therapist whom I absolutely love, and I feel lately that it's just been a really nice centering calming experience and then I did jump into some filming that I did for a very exciting video coming up very soon if you follow me on my vlog channel you probably know what I'm talking about or at least you will very very soon but this was a very fun project that is coming in a couple of weeks that I think a lot of you will be very excited for. After my filming was done for the day, I believe it was about like 10 or 11 a.m. at this point, I decided, you know what, I'm changing into my Halloween pajamas because the day you're watching this, it's Halloween and I wanted to make a nice, cozy, comforting fall meal and it actually turned out amazing. I did chicken and dumplings and it was freaking delicious. <laughs> That is pretty much it for my morning. I spent the rest of my day doing editing work on my laptop. It was a very productive day. Not every day is this busy, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I really appreciate you being here. I love you. Happy Halloween, happy fall, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.